five video series. In this lesson, part three, we're going to wrap up managing elements. We're going to go over rates and blackout dates, combining elements, and how to import elements from an external source. So let's go ahead into Gorilla and into the Element Manager. And this is the tab that we're going to go over right now, which is rates, blackout dates, and data days. Now, it's important to note that we're not going to go over data days in this lesson. There's a lot to go over uh, to understanding and running a data days report, and we're going to do that in its own lesson. So go ahead and look for that if you want to learn how to use the day out of days feature. Now, the rates option is a very simple option to use. What you can do is you can attach a rate to an element. So to do that, very simply, select the element, of course, here in the on the left-hand side, and enter a rate. Now, this can be for a cast member. It could be for an element. It could be for a rental. It could be for anything. Now, when you do this, it's important to, to note that you're not actually budgeting. What you're doing is literally attaching a rate to an element, which you can therefore later on import into your budgeting module. And again, we're going to get to that when we do the budgeting module lessons. But what you can do is if you were to, for example, enter rates for all your props, what it costs to either make those props or what it costs to either rent them, um, and then import a list of all your props into the budgeting module, all those, uh, the list of props and their accompanying rates will import into that module. So that's important to note. So it could save you a lot of time if you do use this feature. Now, the next feature I'm going to show you is the blackout dates feature. Now, what this allows you to do is enter blackout dates for, again, any element. It doesn't have to be for a cast member. It could be for any element that is not available on a particular date. So let's go ahead and, and do that. <clears throat> I'm going to select over here this green add button, and I'm going to select some dates that this particular element is not available. By clicking on the little calendar button right here, this allows you to select a particular date. I'm going to go close to our shoot date and select August 1st, and go ahead and enter some information here. Now you can enter whatever you want. Now, notice that if you do enter a date that is part of your shoot, which is part of your shoot days, which is in your calendar, uh, a little camera button will appear here that will tell you that this is a shoot day. If I were to enter a date that is not part of our, part of our shoot, so let's go ahead and just select this day, for example. Well, we don't know if they're sick or, or whatever, but let's say... Uh, whatever we want to put in for the note, notice that for this particular date, there's no little camera there. For this date, there is. This is indicating that this is a shoot day. So in this way, you can track which elements are not available for which dates. And then you could run a blackout dates report that will show you all that information on a report. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to combine elements together. Now, this is important in case two elements uh, need to be combined. Now, in this instance, what I've done is I've created the uh, an, an extra element here called the janitor. Now, let's say in the screenplay, the writer really in, uh, intended for this character to be Barney, the janitor. But for some reason, in a certain scene, maybe it's one scene, maybe it's two scenes, the writer entered, instead of putting the name Barney in either description or in uh, for dialogue, he or she entered the janitor. Now, they really are the same character. And what we have now is we have two cast members, as you can see here, with a whole with different scenes. Now, we have Barney here with all these scenes attached, and we have the janitor with two other scenes attached, and they really are the same element. So we need to combine them together. And we can do that in Gorilla. What you want to do is you want to select the main uh, element to, co to, uh, to combine, or the primary element. And then what you want to do is up here from the Schedule pull-down menu, select the Combine Elements option. And this allows you to combine elements together. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the secondary element to merge with the primary element. So I'm going to select the janitor. And it's telling you here 
The master element or primary element is Barney, and we are about to combine the element with the master element. So I'm going to click continue. And what it, there you go. What it's going to do now is if I go back to my cast members, notice that the janitor is gone. And if I select Barney here and then select scenes, notice that the two scenes, these two yellow scenes that were previously attached to the uh, element janitor is now attached to, are now attached to the Barney element. So that's how you combine elements together. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to import elements from an external source. Now in order to do this, you want to go up to the file menu and select the import elements option and you have two choices. You can import elements from either another schedule or from an external source, a text or Excel file. I'm going to go ahead and select this option first. And it's going to show you a little map here, a little Excel map that's explaining to you how you should prepare your external source. So this is just simply an Excel spreadsheet. And if you are going to import uh, elements from an external source, make sure that the column A here is filled out with the element name. And notice down here it says only column A will import. I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, import button. It's going to ask you which category do you want to import the elements into. Now I'm going to import into props. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find my props uh, Excel sheet. Now this is important also because sometimes you won't see your sheet. Notice here this is actually where it is. It's an XLS file, but it's grayed out. So sometimes you might have to show all available. And notice how now it's available to select. I'm going to go ahead and select that particular um, file, and it's an Excel, XLS or Excel file. Click open, and I'm going to uh, import just sheet one, which is the first sheet there. And what uh, Gorilla is going to do is it's going to take all those elements and import them into Gorilla. So let's go ahead and see what happened here. And there we go. Notice our props is greatly expanded because we've imported all these elements from our Excel spreadsheet. These weren't in here before. Okay, and then of course you can do what you want with them. Now I want to show you actually how to import from another schedule. That's also a very nice feature in Gorilla. Let's say you've created another schedule with a whole bunch of elements that you want to import uh, into. So let's go ahead from another schedule. Now what it's going to do is it's going to show you your list of schedules. Now we happen to have um, the same project here, which is the janitor. But each uh, one of these has its own schedule. So I'm going to select this interviewing Norman schedule. And again, it's going to ask you select a category to import element records from. I'm going to go ahead and select props. Now, there happen to be three props in the uh, interviewing Norman schedule. And it's giving you a little explanation here. You've chosen to export three elements from props. Now it's asking you to select a category to import these elements into. I'm going to go ahead and select props again because we're going to do props to props. And, um, I, of course, I don't really know exactly what those props are, but to see the new elements, okay, there we go. So now we're going to do the same thing here and oh, expand props. Now, I'm not sure exactly what props we imported, but let me see if I can scroll down to see some of them. There we go. I know that wine happened to be in interviewing Norman, so that was brought in. So that will import all your props from another schedule, so you have that particular choice. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot. Mm -hmm.